Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Anime, where I, your hostess with the mostest, the ultimate otaku, go over an anime, its characters, its plots, and my thoughts on it in 5 minutes. Today, we will talk about G.A. Yao, or Antidote. This was a 13-episode anime series that began in January of 2020 by Seven Stones Entertainment. Each episode clocks in at around 18 minutes long, so it's a little shorter than the standard anime episode. This anime is based off of a web novel, and it's also a webtoon that is currently publishing on Bully Bully. This is classified as a BL, so yes, you're safe to ship the two main characters together. But don't be asking me about who the top or the bottom is, because I'm gonna say Chen Kei, and I'm not gonna argue about it. Fair warning before we move on, I will butcher these names. I've already butchered the title so far to be honest, but I will try my best to pronounce them correctly. And I've heard them said multiple times, so I should logically should know how to pronounce them, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> best of luck to myself. So we have two main characters, Chang Kei and Jiang Yudo. Chang Kei was a rich boy who was thrown out of his parents' house after a disagreement over his future. Chang Kei wanted to pursue his, his art, but his father was very against it. So, like the hothead he is, Chang Kei pieced the hell out. He was happy to walk out the door and let his father cut him off from the family fortune. This, of course, left Chang Kei to wander the town, and while he was wandering around the town, he ran into Jiang Yudo. Now, Jiang Yudo, he's a tough dude. He doesn't take shit from no one. He's the definition of a Chad. He's also the head of a group of thugs. Hilariously, Chang Kei also does not take shit from no one. He's also a Chad. And so that means that these two, they often get into arguments with each other. And even once they got into a physical fight, these dudes butt heads constantly. And they also run into each other constantly. So, this makes it so Jiang Yudo and Chang Kei ended up finding more about each other. So, Jiang Yudo, after finding out Chang Kei didn't have a place to live, offered Chang Kei to be his tenant. From there, the two grew closer and they learned more about each other. We also find out what kind of artist that Chang Kei is. He does something called sand art, where he makes beautiful images out of grains of sand. Another plot point we witnessed is seeing Jiang Yudo being chased by someone or something. Throughout the anime, Jiang Yudo gets really upset, not only with Chang Kei, but with a lot of people. And he to the point where he believes that Chang Kei is working for the enemy. Chang Kei and subsequently us are very confused about what Jiang Yudo is going on about. And later in the series, we find out that it's not a physical enemy that's torturing Jiang Yudo, but a psychological enemy. Jiang Yudo suffers from extreme PTSD to the point where he has violent out outbursts at the smallest of stimuli. I was shocked. I'm still shocked thinking about it now. I didn't think that this series would go down that path. It's very rare to find an anime that talks about the effects of conditions like PTSD. We see all these anime characters fighting all these battles, winning, fighting, losing, defeating their enemy, going against the demon lord, getting isekai, all this stuff. But we rarely ever see them deal with the psychological ramifications of all of these terrifying actions. I really thought that this series handled this aspect pretty well, and that's the main reason I love this so much. There's even a sort of conclusion of Jiang Yudo and Chen Kei's story at the end of the series, which makes it even better. Of course, of course, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. And you've seen it, I've seen it, the animation. Garbage. It's so bad. I almost dropped this because of how terrible it looks. Ken Kabancha Otome Girl Beats Boys was way better in the animation. But I'm so glad I did not drop this. I'm happy to give this a 7 out of 10. I wish it had expanded on some things more, but it was good for what it was. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next installment.